A week or so ago, I made a video showing you guys how you can edit like Magnate Media, and a lot of you guys liked that video. So in this video, I'm going to be creating a second one. And the clip that I'll be trying to recreate today is this one. How does a boy born into poverty become the richest man in the world? This video will not be showing you how to do graphics design like him, it will be showing you how to animate like him. So his assets will look better than mine and his overall video will definitely look better than mine. But this video will be showing you guys how to animate like him. Also, if you guys would like to get the project file for this animation so you can learn to animate even faster, there will be a link to that in the description below. If you're a content creator looking for video editing services, check out the top link in the description. I've imported all of my assets and there will be a link to them in the description below. I'm going to import my background, which is this just derelict building with the door open. And I'm going to scale it so that it fits the composition. I'm also going to import the stock picture of the boy, scale it up and position it well in well where I want it to be in my um, composition. It's going to be around there. I'm then going to import the Magnates Media um, voiceover and I'm just going to crop it so and then it starts at the right point. This is so I know, I know when to How edit certain parts to certain poverty, bits so I can actually have the, the audio to reference to. I'm then going to turn on the visibility of the boy and I'm going to import this other background of this derelict place. I'm going to just position it accordingly where it roughly should be. Um, just it doesn't have to be perfect because you will crop it like here. I'm going to grab the um, this tool and I'm going to crop it to the background here. I'm then going to turn on the mask and I'm just going to increase the mask feather very slightly to around 50. I'm going to turn on the visibility of the boy again and I'm going to position it at the top. I'm then going to duplicate with Control D the top layer and I'm going to search up fill and I'm going to add that onto the new duplicated layer of the boy and change the color to black. I'm then going to change the opacity to 99 so you can slightly see through and I'm going to change down the scale by a couple points. I'm then going to add an adjustment layer and I'm then going to add transform to this adjustment layer. I'm then going to keyframe the scale at the start, go forward um, around near the end of this first bit when he's talking about it and I'm going to increase the scale to about 128. And yeah, this is what we have so far. And to then make it smoother, I'm going to highlight the keyframes, press F9, I'll go into the graph editor, and I'm going to play it around with the graph until I get slightly, until I get what I want. So this is what I have so far. It starts off um, faster and then slows down. I'm just going to increase the scale a bit more so it's a bit more dramatic, not dramatic, just so it scales in a bit more. I'm going to search up in the effects and presets panel, directional blur, and I'm going to apply that onto the adjustment layer. I'm going to keyframe the blur length at zero at um, no not I'm going to keyframe it at the start around I don't know 10 change the direction to about 90 degrees I shall increase the blur length a bit and I'm going to just yeah keep go forward a bit maybe like I don't know 10 frames and I'm going to make it zero again the so and then it starts off a bit blurry then um stops being blurry very fast because then I don't want the whole thing to be blurry it'll be annoying um I'm going to then get a text layer and I'm going to search, I'm going to type up how does a boy like it does in the video. I'm then just going to scale up the bottom one so and then it's a bit more centered um, like this. And I'm just going to scale up the whole text as well. So and then it's roughly where I would want it to be. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to move the how does a boy text layer below the adjustment layer. And I'm going to then actually you know I'll move it below the, behind the boy like this behind so it's behind the adjustment layer and the boy picture and I'm going to type up search up typewriter onto the effects and presets and add that onto my text layer. I'm then going to press U to open up the keyframes which have been generated for me. I'm going to go to the bit where it stops saying how does a boy in the voice vo voiceover and I'm going to change the ending keyframe so it moves like this. So and then the, it goes how does a boy quickly. I'm also going to apply a glow onto this and I'm going to increase the glow radius slightly and slightly decrease the glow threshold. And this is what we have so far. I don't know if I've got the exact font, but it's close enough. I'm also going to move the text up to the front so then I can actually edit it. I'm going to space out the text slightly like I've done here. And what I'm going to do is I'm also just going to move the text until it's where I want, more in the middle. Into it looks quite nice. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to find when it stops saying how does a boy and I'm going to move the text up to a, up to the top so I can edit it because right now the adjustment layer is in the way. I'm then going to click on it, edit it and type in born into and then I'm going to 
make another text layer with poverty. So, and then they're separated. Um, I'm going to scale it up and make it so, and then it's slightly bigger than the two born, the two words above. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to select them both and move them below the picture of the boy as well. I'm then going to copy the glow from the top layer and po paste it onto the bottom layer. And I'm going to play around with the, until I get the colors because for some reason they're slightly different. I'm also going to search on the effects and I'm going to search up in the effects and presets panel, um, typewriter and add that onto that effect as well. I'm going to, I'm going to do the same thing. So, and then the, um, end keyframe ends when he stops saying born into. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up, um, Mr. Horse, uh, animation composer three. It's a free plugin. I'm not sponsored by it. Just, it's just get it. It's really useful. And, um, I'm going to add the scale characters two onto that poverty one so and then it's quickly just going like this and it creates a nice automatic um animation for us not animation but text reveal does a boy born and into this is what we have so far it's pretty similar to what he has i'm pretty sure. um i'll play around with it later but yeah this is what we have so far i'm just going to they it's not fully lined up with the the uh speech the words so i'm going to play around with it like this i'm just going to move the text a bit forward and it's getting a bit closer to being synced up. So yeah, I'm just going to move the text a bit forward and move the other one How slightly back. And this is, yeah, this is more like it. I'm also going to parent link every single layer apart from the adjustment layer onto the background, which is the pixels one. And I'm going to um, alt click the, the position and search up. And no, I'm going to type up wiggle to comma five. And it should be a slight wiggle. Maybe I'll increase it a bit because it's not really wiggling that much to be fair. Um, yeah, I'll increase it to around 210. And it's just wiggling around. This pretty much is what Magnus Media's editors use pretty much all the time. I'm also going to import this particles overlay, overlay which will be in the description um, below as well. And I'm going to change the mode to screen. So, and then there isn't the, back, the black background. And I'm going to position the overlay at the corner right uh, right bottom right hand corner of the screen i'm going to go forward maybe a couple seconds or maybe a second or so around two seconds and i'm going to How then a boy born into move the whole particles to the top left of the screen so and then it's the particles are moving from right to left like this like it does in the magnet media video but what i'm also going i'm just going to space them out because they're moving a bit fast right now and what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, duplicate each layer and move the new layer a bit further away from the the other one. So and then we have basically a bunch of them like spread out and it's going to create this effect. So basically just control D and then move it slightly. I'm also going to uh, highlight all of the all of them ones I've just made or the overlays. I'm going to go forward a couple seconds and then have them all come in like this. So and then just do what I've done on screen. Just duplicate the layers and then move them forward. Do the same again and then move the, those new layers forward as well. So then I, they're basically, there's a lot more of these particles now. I'm going to also create a new composition and I'm going to start on my next section, which is the richest man. I'm just going to name it that. And I'm going to import the picture of um, Hong Kong. You can use any city. I mean, I my at, at the end of the day, this is... Um, not a, this is not a graphics design video. This is an animation video. I'm also going to import the smoke overlay that I've got here. I'm then just going to cut it. So, and then it's just when the smoke's at the right point, I'm going to scale it up. So, and then it's just the smoke and it's not the smoke at like a weird point. It's just, just smoke. I'm going to create a new, um, solid, which is black. It has to be black. And I'm going to put it below this smoke overlay and I'm going to change the opacity of the smoke overlay down to like 50. So, and then it's just a lot darker and it's not so potent the um, smoke because it's quite obvious right now. I'm also going to add the um, voiceover poverty, so and then I can actually hear where the audio is because when you make a new composition you haven't got the audio from the previous one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the audio when it starts in the second point so I just got the audio of the second bit and yeah this is what it sounds like right now and I don't know if you can hear this actually I think I might have the audio for off for this bit and I'm going to uh, pre-compose the two layers I've made apart from the Hong Kong one. And I'm going to re I'm going to just name it FG and I'm going to rename the background BG. So it's background 
foreground and background basically and i'm going to get the pen tool and create a line mask thing uh like the shape of like it's um burning paper or like paper being ripped and i'm going to do that across the whole of the foreground um video so basically i'm gonna also finish it so and make do exactly what i've done here basically and and make create a box so and then you've got uh, a, a mask add the rough and edges effect make the border around 20 make the edge sharpness i don't know about four um maybe 4.5 and just increase the scale to something like maybe, I don't know, just a bit more like 150 and change the complexity to 10. And this is going to make the paper, make it look like paper. Now it's actually starting to resemble paper. I'm going to scale it up as well because it's made the edges a bit um, weird. I'm going to, I'm going to keyframe the mask path. Then I'm going to go forward a bit and then I'm just going to move the mask. So, and it looks like the paper's being ripped a bit like it's going down and this is going to emulate the whole burning effect that magnates media had in his video i doubt mine's gonna look as good as his but it's more the fact that like it's just i'm trying to show you like what he did so you can get inspiration this isn't to, for you to copy him you, sh you shouldn't copy um magnates media because you're not going to get anything from that it's just this is just the skills that you may be able to develop from watching this and you may learn how to do some new things as well um so yeah, just go forward like five frames every time or something and just move the mask. So, and then it's got the, like, the, like it's going down, but make it uneven. So, and then it's not just, it looks unnatural, make it so it's like random. So, and you'll see what will happen in a sec. Um, yeah, you'll see now what it will look like as I'm done. And yeah, so you know, so it's like going down, it's random. So it's like, it's being burnt. The paper's been burnt. Um, what I'm, yeah, I'm just. I don't know if it's fully enough though. It seems like it's not going down very much. So I'm just going to play around with the mask again. I'm just going to each time for each um, keyframe, I'm just going to move the whole mask down even more. And we'll see what that looks like in a sec. Yeah, that does look a bit better. And I'm also going to add the turbulent displace effects onto this mask. I'm going to change the size to five and the amount to 50. I'm going to open up the um, evolution options and I'm going to alt click on the random seed stopwatch and I'm going to search up, I'm going to type up random like bracket one, three, and then closing bracket. And this means it will start jittering as well. And it'll be like, it's being burnt slightly. And um, I'm going to keyframe the position at the start and then I'm going to, I'm going to end it. So, and then the key, so it's closer to the bottom. So it looks like it's getting burnt even faster. I'm going to duplicate the FG one and I'm going to rotate it. So it's at the top. This just saves us doing all this, all this stuff again. So it's just basically just copy what we just done and made it at the top. So we don't have to do it again. And I'm going to, yeah, just change the ending keyframe. So, and then it goes up instead of down because we're duplicating at the end of the day. So we have to make it, we have to reverse it. And so, and then it's going the other way. Just play around with the, so because right now it starts off quite um, different than the magnetic media one. So I'm just going to play around with it until I get what I want. I'm also going to import the businessman icon or picture, stock picture. And I'm going to just add in where I want in, in the middle. And I'm going to search up, I'm going to type up richest man and just in the same color font and everything like in the magnetic media video. And I'm just going to position it where I want it to be in the composition, basically in the bit, which is, which is visible of the city. Uh, near the middle and I'm going to search I'm also going to type up I don't know why I keep saying search up instead of type up but um and I'm going to then add the text in the world below the richest man one and just play around with it until I get what I want I'm then also going to align it and I'm just going to copy the glow from the previous one because I pr pretty much perfect perfected it and I'm going to apply that onto the ones here so just control C, control V. Um, and I'm going to open up animation composer three again, and I'm going to just apply this fade characters, um, separately effects onto both of them at the same time. So, and then it, it's not actually like synced up with the words, this one, I'm just doing exactly what the magnet media video did. And I'm just going to make sure the two like points are at the same. So, and then it fades, both layers fade in at the same speed. Richest man and this is what we have so far i'm then going to highlight the two text layers i've made and i'm going to put it behind the man so and then it's behind him it looks 
a lot better, but that's also what Magnus Media did in his video. I'm also just going to trim it so it's at the end. I'm also going to add this money falling effect, change the mode to screen, and I'm going to change the speed to something like 20, 22. And this is what should have should have so far. I really don't like this, I have to say. I really don't like the way this part of the animation looks. But I have to say, this is showing how to animate it, not how to do graphics design. I'm also going to parent link everything to the background or the Hong Kong picture. And I'm just going to parent link every layer above it, apart from the voiceover, to that layer. And this is so I can then alt click on the position, change, and then add the wiggle stuff, or the wiggle um, command again. So, and then everything will start, it'll look like the camera is wiggling. And um, this is what we have so far. I'm also going to keyframe the scale at the start, go to the end and increase the scale again to something like, I don't know, around 200. And this will give the whole zooming in, um, shaking camera look that Magnus Media uses a lot. And just let me unscale it a bit because it's a bit much. Yeah, this is what we have so far. It's starting to look quite similar to his. I'm then going to go to, back to the original composition and I'm going to find the point where he starts talking about like the richest man. And it's basically when it when you can also hear the flash effect in the voiceover. So I'm going to when you when I can hear the flash effect, I'm going to add the new composition onto it here. And it's there's no transition right now, but it basically I'm trying to line it up with the voiceover. I'm also going to go back into the richest man composition and turn off the audio because it's annoying me. It's quite loud. And I'm going to go into animation composer three, go into the transitions, and I'm going to add generated generated light leak two. I'm going to go forward like five frames, go back five frames from the cut, go forward and back five frames from the cut, and I'm just going to trim it. So it's just quick, this quick flash effect here. I'm also going, also going to keyframe the rotation and on, on at the original um, composition, and I'm going to go towards the end and keyframe it again. So then I have two keyframes, two rotation keyframes, and in the middle, I'm going to create two um, decently evened out keyframes, like as you can see, like there's two key, keyframes in the middle. I'm then going to just evenly space them out and I'm going to change the rotation to like four or something and we'll see how that looks. But that is quite a lot. It looks quite a bit too um, tilted. So I'm going to change it to something like two. And this should be the finished animation. How does a boy born into poverty become the richest man in the world? 